From the news team that stands for you, this is CBS Local 2 News Nightcast with Chris Long, Brooke Berry, and Chief Meteorologist Patrick Evans. Even though you others don't understand, there is a need for this to prevent violence. The issue of unisex restrooms is raising its head in our valley tonight. It flows from a transgender resident, but we found the valley flush with opinions tonight on whether or not boys and girls rooms should be a thing of the past. Good evening. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Chris Long. And I'm Brooke Berry. Thank you for joining us for CBS Local Tonight Cast. Gender neutral restrooms. Should future businesses be required to include them? One Valley transgender woman says yes. And she's asking Cathedral City to be the first in the Valley to establish an ordinance that would require them. CBS Local 2's Natalie Grinnell joins us in the newsroom tonight with the story of Tommy Clinton, who says this issue is something very personal to her. Natalie? That's right, Brooke and Chris. Clinton says she's one of thousands of transgender people who have been harassed in public bathrooms. And she says it's an issue of public safety that all cities should take seriously. Just get away from the whole uh, male or female because um, not everybody fits within that. It's a sign we're trained to use beginning in grade school. Skirt means girls, pants means boys. But the transgender community says there shouldn't be a division when it comes to one of our most basic human functions. When you, you, you know, you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> Gender neutral bathrooms or even unisex bathrooms um, create a, a safe place for people to use the bathroom. Tommy Clinton is the director of the Transgender Community Coalition in the Valley. She started a movement to push local cities to mandate gender neutral public restrooms after her own experiences of what she calls harassment in both men's and women's bathrooms. Before I transitioned more, I went into the men's bathroom and the old man screamed and called security and then I left and went into the women's bathroom and she screamed and ran out. So it was kind of a, a, a difficulty just using the bathroom. Clinton lives in Desert Hot Springs but met with public officials in Cathedral City where she often goes shopping about the idea of requiring future businesses to have gender neutral or unisex restrooms. West Hollywood and San Francisco already have similar laws. I feel that if we have an ordinance that it will actually protect people from harm. We took the idea of gender neutral bathrooms to the court of public opinion and met no one who was against the idea. I think it's a good idea for, for the transgender. Yes, I do. Makes them feel more like welcomed into the community. Whether there's people with it or against it, everyone has a restroom to use. These are the sign of the times. It's okay to share things. Clinton is also contacting other Valley cities, including her own Desert Hot Springs. And so far, she says the responses from public officials have all been positive. Reporting in the newsroom, Natalie Brunel, CBS Local 2 News. Natalie, is the suggestion here to put a third restroom in these establishments or just create one that's unisex for anyone? It would really depend on the business, especially the size. She says either a third bathroom that would be gender neutral if the others have multiple stalls or just one unisex bathroom that's private. All right, thanks, Natalie. We'll continue to follow up on this for you. CBS Local 2 follow-up tonight.